My name is Professor Isaac Samani Goodson, your facilitator for this course ANP302, Ruminant Animal Production. It is a very interesting course. Uh, you will get to know more about some of these uh, ruminant animals, and uh, I'm sure you will put the knowledge to use so that we'll have increase in uh, protein needs in our diets. Thank you very much. Enjoy yourself along this lecture. Well, um, we are starting this lecture on characteristics of ruminant animals under the very first module, the very first uh, unit. By way of introduction, animal rearing is an age-long activity that man carries out basically for food and the production of raw materials for agro-industries. Meat or flesh, milk and eggs are primarily obtained directly from farm animals for consumption by man. Wool, fowl, hides and skin are other products from farm animals for industrial use as raw materials. By way of objectives, by the end of this unit, you should be able to define a ruminant animal. State basic features that differentiate a ruminant from non-ruminant animal. Identify the categories of ruminant animals. Enumerate the economic values of keeping ruminant animals. Definition of ruminant animals. Ruminant animals are an mammals that belong to the order Artiodactyla. They are animals with a complex stomach, unlike the non-ruminants that have simple stomach. They eat and digest forages or plant-based feed by swallowing it first and allowing it to get moistened in the rumen, which is the first compartment of the complex stomach. The swallowed food is later regurgitated by the animal and rechewed to break down the plant materials for digestion. This process is called rumination or chewing the cut. Examples of ruminant animals are cattle, sheep, goats, camel, water buffalo, giraffes, antelopes, to mention but a few. However, we shall limit our discussion in this study to cattle, sheep, and goats that are commonly found in our environment. The diagram below shows the level parts of a typical cow, which you should endeavor to learn. Uh, what are the differences between ruminant and non-ruminant animals? The main difference between ruminant animals and non-ruminant animals is the anatomy of their stomach. Contrary to the belief of many, ruminants have only one stomach and not four. The four compartment of ruminant stomach is, uh, well, they are, or chambers, compartments or chambers, uh, are rumen, a reticulum, or mushroom, and ovomasum. The last of the compartments is the true stomach in ruminants, while the rumen and reticulum perform the function of moistening the swallowed forage. In the omasum, water and inorganic materials are absorbed before the digester is passed into the true stomach. Another major physical difference is the possession of split hooves by ruminant animals. Uh, the sketch or images of compartments of the ruminant stomach are as displayed and for your, it is for your careful study. Classes of ruminant animals. Ruminant animals are categorized into two main classes based on their body size, namely large ruminant animals and small ruminant animals. Examples of large ruminants are cattle, water buffalo, giraffe, camel, etc. While small ruminants are sheep, goat, antelope, etc. Ruminants have an advantage of the ability to eat and utilize low-quality fibrous food that cannot be eaten by human or non-ruminant. Economic importance of keeping ruminant animals. Ruminant animals and their products, as mentioned in the introduction, have tremendous nutritional and economic values to man, as stated below. Milk and meat of cattle, sheep, goats, and other ruminants are good sources of animal protein to man, which are of better quality than plant protein plant protein. 
They serve as sources of raw materials used in the industries, e.g. leather goods, respectively. Goat hair is also used for making carpets, bark, and ropes. Wool is a raw material for the production of clothing for human wear. They serve as means of foreign exchange earning. For instance, some countries in Europe, such as Denmark and Botswana in South Africa, export beef to earn foreign exchange. Others export dairy products from milk to earn foreign exchange. They serve also as sources of income to subsistence farmers. In Nigeria, cattle, sheep, and goats are kept at subsistence level by farmers. These animals are able to survive on fallow lands and others that are not good for arable crop farming, thereby maximizing the use of the available land resources or land resource. They are also used as gifts to or bride price, which serve as family wealth. They are sources of gainful employment. The manure or dung from these animals can be used as a source of organic fertilizer. The skin of the red Sokoto breed of goats in Nigeria commands high premium in the international market because of its high superior quality. In the southwestern part of Nigeria, goats are relished as meat and as barbecued during ceremonies. Generally, under the organized production system, ruminant animals are slaughtered during festive seasons all over the world. Blood and bones obtained from slaughtering of these animals are often recycled and processed into blood meal, bone meal, which are used as components of animal feed. Cattle and some other ruminants can also be used as beasts of In conclusion, the general features of ruminant animals have been looked into in this unit. The ruminant and non-ruminant animals were differentiated using the features highlighted and also categorized into large and small ruminants. The nutritional and economic values of, of keeping ruminants were also discussed. In summary, in this unit, you have learned that ruminant animals are those that feed on plant-based feed by swallowing it and later regurgitating the forage for proper mastication or chewing to reduce the semi-solid digester to particle size for digestion. Ruminant animals differ from non-ruminants because they possess only one stomach with four compartments which are the rumen, reticulum, omasum, and abomasum. The fourth compartment called obomasum is the true stomach. Ruminants also differ from non-ruminants because they have split hoofed toes. Ruminants are divided into large and small based on their body size. Ruminants have tremendous nutritional and economic values. They serve as source of foreign exchange earning and also raw materials for agro allied industry. Tutor marked assignment. Endeavor to do this. What are the main differences between ruminant and non ruminant animals? 2. Name the four compartments in a ruminant stomach serially. 3. Give any five economic reasons for keeping ruminant animals. Uh, by way of further reading or references, you can refer to Bucket 1973 or Okori, 1978, or Payne and Williams, 1999. I, I don't know the ending. <laughs>